hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b minus 3 is equals to b and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the question into the comment section so here um, the reason of solving this question for first method is that if in your exam the question statement is that uh, you need to find the value of b or you need to find the roots of this equation uh, so um, the solution of this type of question is our method number one but if the question statement is that uh, you uh, and you just determine the solution of this problem or you just check that is this equation has solution or not then and, and the answer of this type of question is our direct method number two okay so i hope so you like both of these methods and now we move towards uh, the solution of this problem from first method so in the first method we need to take squaring on both of the sides and when we take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as b minus 3 whole square is equals to b square and here uh, we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, if we have x minus y whole square is equals to x square minus 2 times of x y plus y square and you see here uh, this is our x and this is our y so according to this uh, we need to expand the left hand side of this equation as uh, after applying this formula it will become b square minus 2 times of x y here our x is b and y is 3 and plus y square so here our y is 3 square and this whole equation is equals to b square and further in the next step we need more simplification then it will be written as this is b square minus 2 times 3 becomes here 6b plus this is 3 square becomes 9 this is plus b square when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus b square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here this is negative b square and this is positive b square are cancelled out by each other and here we get this is minus 6b plus 9 is equals to 0 and here our target is to find the values of b so that's why we need to move uh, all the other terms to the right hand side so that when you move this plus 9 to the right hand side it will become minus 6b is equals to minus 9 and here for the values of b we need to divide both of the sides by minus 6 so when we divide by minus 6 it will be written as in this form so when you divide by here it will become minus 6b divided by minus 6 is equals to minus 9 is divided by minus 6 and further in the next step we have this is this minus 6 is cancelled out by this minus 6 and we get b is equals to this is this minus is cancelled out by this minus and here we need to cancel both of these two values uh, by the table of 3 so this is 3 times 2 becomes 6 3 times 3 becomes 9 so we get the value of b is equals to 3 over 2 so this is the first value or first root of the given equation which we get here in this method and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of b is satisfied our given question statement or not so that for verification of this value we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is b minus 3 is equals to b so this is the our given question statement and here uh, in the uh, both of the side we substitute the above value of b and we check the behavior of this equation so when you put it here it will become 3 divided by 2 minus 3 is equals to 3 divided by 2 and in the left in the next step we need to take the lcm of left hand side and it lcm becomes here 2 and this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 we get 3 minus this is 2 times 3 becomes here 6 is equals to 3 divided by 2 
and further in the next step you see here we have 3 minus 6 becomes minus 3 over 2 is equals to 3 over 2 so this shows that uh, the value of b is equals to 3 over 2 is satisfied over this given question statement uh, is not satisfied over given question statement because the left hand side is negative and right hand side is positive these two are not equal or in other words we just say that it is not possible that a negative value equals to some positive value so this means that the value of b is not satisfied this question statement so we call b is equals to 3 over 2 b the extraneous root of the given equation and you know about that the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so here we have this b be the extraneous root and we cannot get any value of b which is satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about that this question has no solution okay we cannot get any possible value of b so the final conclusion is that uh, this question has no solution and now here further in the next step we need uh, to again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is b minus 3 is equals to b this is the our given question statement and here in this method uh, we need to move this b to the right hand side and when we move this b to the right hand side we will get here minus 3 is equals to b minus b and here you clearly see that minus 3 is equals to b minus b becomes 0 so here you see that minus 3 is equal to 0 it is also not possible uh, because minus 3 is not equals to 0 so here in the second method we cannot get any value of b which is satisfied our given question statement so that we finally conclude about that this question has no solution in general so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos